tutorials, tutorials. Yo, what's up? Uh, I'm having a huge problem. I don't know why. She swallowed the fly. But I before I ramble on too much, let me just tell you what the solution is. Get to the point. Stop rambling like I'm about to do. What you want to do, Windows key, Internet options right there. Click it. There's your window. Connections. Land settings. I don't know how this is occurring, whether it's a restart or programs overriding something or something gets updated. Not really sure. Automatically detect settings becomes disabled. Use proxy server for your LAN is enabled. That causes my problem. So what you want to do is check internet options via the method I just described. Deselect use a proxy server, unless you need this for some reason, I don't know. And then click automatically detect settings and you probably should be good almost immediately. Let's get back to the video. Click okay, okay, you should be good. Here's the video. She swallowed the fly, but I also don't know why I'm getting the no internet, check the error proxy connection failed. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, I've never seen that. I was trying to figure out why I can't update uh, Creative Cloud. I can get to the internet. I'll show you that I can get to the internet. Boom. I can get to the internet. Boom. There's the internet. I can get there. Uh, Media Encoder was having a problem. So I figured I'd open up Adobe Creative Cloud and try to update. Uh, and there were some updates available. I'm not sure if that's the issue. Um, not sure why I can't load the applications. Uh, when I was trying to update the software, I was getting um, Adobe can't reach the servers or some crap like that. We'll see that in a second. Uh, let's just start with the top and see if we can get Premiere to update. It usually gets to 3 to 5%. See, I think it's going to happen right now. So there's 5%. Now we'll get a little glitchy glitch. And then we'll get the error message. Ah, I, I was hoping that actually wouldn't happen. I, I didn't want to do this tutorial. And it will just keep cycling and doing that. I've checked my firewalls. I can get to the internet. There's some other sites that I actually can't get to. So like investing.com. Yeah, see, I'm getting this. And it says error proxy connection failed. I think these things are uh, working together against me. Here, check this out. Ah, uh, here, here's my thumbnail. I'm going to do the thumbnail here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. OK, so there's my thumbnail. And we'll do another thumbnail right here. Oh, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go like, frick you, dude. Er, 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 I'll strangle you. I was strangling the neck of error proxy connection failed. So I think one resolution people do is they go to the Chrome and then the settings, and you didn't see that information because it's blurred out. Um, scroll down to open proxy settings go to uh, let me not hide it go to land settings and then automatically detect settings there somewhere and then uncheck the proxy server there automatically detect settings click OK I'm not sure what's happening there I'll click OK again go back here I couldn't get here let's refresh maybe I have to oh so now I can get there Okay, so now does that fix my Adobe problem? You see how that worked? I went to settings. And so this actually opened up internet properties, which is the key right there. Internet properties right up there. So let's see if my Adobe can now update. So let me let me close this out and uh, restart it. So I'll do a control delete and I will kill Adobe Creative Cloud. Go bye bye. Okay. And I won't kill these down here and we'll open it back up and it does, doesn't let me actually sign out because it doesn't can't connect the Adobe servers. That's not a good sign circling around. OK, we'll go to apps. I'll, I'll go ahead and try to update. I just don't think it's going to work. It usually gets to one, two, three percent. That's actually better, dude. I like the way that's going. Holds up on three and then four and then five. It does a little glitchy glitch and it says can't connect to the servers right there if we can get past five that'd be great i don't know why and then it's going to go down it says waiting and then it will yeah here we go here's the problem oh it's went to seven. Oh my lord it's working 
So maybe that's all it was. Wow. Okay, so oh, that's a big oh. Okay, guys, check it out. Look how happy I am right there. I fixed my problem. Hopefully, I fixed your problem. Now, what I want to offer you, and I may be able to fix another problem. It's called the financial problem. This guy down here would really love it if he could reach 2,000 subscribers for his family, his daughter. You have the ability to help him out with that goal. And all it is is just a little click. It's a subscribe. Maybe you want to like, maybe you want to share. I know this actually solved my problem. And it's probably going to solve a lot of people's problems out there because I saw it all over the internet and I didn't have a clear answer as to what was going on. A lot of unanswered questions. Some led to different uh, solutions. Maybe they solved them. I didn't actually follow it because it wasn't meeting some of my symptoms. See if you can fulfill one of my goals which is to get 2,000 subscribers and if I'm at 2,000 subscribers which I'm not I'm only at about 695 right now if I can get to 2,000 fantastic if I can go further that's awesome but what I want to show you Jerry Maguire show me the money I got the money right there what I want to do is I want to give one of these guys yes I know I have several hundred dollars here I'm gonna give a random individual one hundred dollars when I reach two thousand I'll give him five days to respond and then I'll move on to the next so your odds may be pretty high depending on how many people check their communications I don't know how I'm actually gonna do this but I'm going to potentially post the video after I reach two thousand subscribers on the eligible participants and and whatnot I probably should set up a whole gleam account and all that stuff but maybe we'll do that for next time because this seems to be uh, something that I can afford to do with the support another thing garthfaber.com hit those Amazon links buy some Amazon stuff you're gonna go there anyways just go through my site that's a great way to support um, and I'm always giving helpful information regarding hardware that you end up having to buy at amazon.com anyways you can buy elsewhere but amazon's clearly the cheapest and the least complicated way of getting your product and your project done so who wants a hundred dollars hit the subscribe check you later continue with the video you know I like when I'm trying to show something and I record it and I'm trying to figure out the answer it comes quick so then I don't have to edit a bunch of crap or I look at this video and I go garbage I'm not gonna sit there and scrub through all my attempts you know a lot of times when you're running through a computer trying all these different fixes you kind of know don't know what you did or how you got to any particular place I think how I got to this particular place was I did the internet options automatically let's try that again internet options there we go it's gonna be under connections because we're trying to connect and it was under land settings local area network and it was automatically detect settings I, I I'm not sure why it tried to flip it flip the script is a virus trying to get at me I don't know I don't know is something putting itself in there to open up a port and send out a bunch of information could be I don't know I got a bit defender defend my bits and my bites bro anyways it looks like we've fixed the issue so you saw the error messages that I, w I was getting that looks like it's fixed I think when I update all this, I'll be good to go. And then I can actually run that media encoder and see just why it's failing. And it might have been this. So keep your fingers crossed. I got a whole bunch of stuff to push out. And then I need to continue editing. That's your fix. Your fix is in internet options, local area networks. Might as well try that. Do it at your own risk. Mm, Garth Vapor's out.